Hello everyone, this is Peter from Pratalist uh, with one more video. So today I'm gonna quickly show you how to solve a problem. I don't know if that the time that you watch this video that's gonna still be a problem. But I posted on Microsoft form here and I, I looked for uh, in GitHub breaks and I found the solution. So let me show what's happening here. Let's say you have uh, created a new uh, for the first time, you have a new Azure account, you create a new Databricks workspace, and then you come here. And then you you create everything with your global administration, which you would think that you would have access to uh, the account in Databricks, but you actually don't. And I'll try to demonstrate and replicate the problem. And if that's your problem, I have the solution, which is very easy to solve. Let's launch the workspace. Uh, I'm logged in as my admin account, so I, would, I should be admin for my workspace. And if you can see here, I can go and on my settings, you can see that I'm admin. I'm on the admin group for this workspace. However, if I go here, I cannot see the manage account, which gives me access to the account console, which I find a little strange. There may be some change here uh, in the control plane for Databricks that's happened recently that's been causing this issue. I'm talking here 15 of September 2024. So if I search like account Databricks console here, login, which is this um, URL accounts.azuredatabricks.net.login, which is the login of your account console that controls all your workspaces in your Azure account. So if I put login here and I try to sign in with my, uh, this is the global administrator of my Azure account, which I'm currently signed in. And I try to authenticate and I get this error. Select user does not exist in tenants, Microsoft service and cannot access the application. This is the code for Databricks application in the tenant. The account needs to be added as an external user in the tenant first. Please use a different account. So ideally, if I go here on my intro for my Azure, you see that the global administrator of my account has got this thing called like hash ext and then the email uh, or the domain that you are in. But my actual email, it's not registered. So I need to add this person, which is actually, uh, I can log in in Azure using just my email, but to log in to Databricks, I need to use this user here. And that's explained uh, on this solution here. Let me just go. Yeah, that's the, someone that had the same problem. But if I go to this guy here, Dustin Vanoy, he came up with an explanation and a solution. So let me just, yeah, I'll put this in the description, but I'll demonstrate how you do it. What you have to do is to go to here and I use another account. And the account that you need to use is this one. Let me just copy. Uh, ideally, you should uh, start on a fresh incognito one, but I, I'll try to use this existing session here to see if it works. You paste here, and you do need to have uh, obviously a password in a, uh, for this uh, service. So with that user, there is no problem. And if I go to user management, you can see that the email without the extension is added in the account here, but for some reason, there may be some problem in Azure. This user here hasn't been added here. So automatically, you need to kind of like put new user, invite an external user, and then send the email to yourself. And then, and then after that, that should work. But another thing that uh, Azure recommends is to go to the uh, your account console and then add a new user and then invite this new user from Azure and give this guy, I'm not going to do this in this video because I'm going to do a quick video, 
And then you just need to go in this user and then grant that person a row of administration of account admin. And then that should work. All right. So this guy here, this is already account admin, but because it's not in Azure, that's what's giving that error that I showed you here. All right. I think uh, you like this video. It's going to be a very quick one. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.